today. We uncover five ways desalination solves Saudi Arabia's water crisis, is helping tackle its growing lack of clean water. With less than five centimeters of rainfall each year, and over 70% of the population dependent on rapidly depleting underground aquifers, the need for sustainable water solutions has never been more urgent. As cities expand and industries thrive, Saudi Arabia is embracing cutting-edge desalination technologies to meet soaring demand. In this video, we dive into the transformative impact of desalination, its breakthroughs, its challenges, and whether it offers a lasting solution or just a temporary fix to a far deeper problem. Faced with an unforgiving landscape and chronic water scarcity, Saudi Arabia is leading one of the most ambitious water transformation efforts in history, relying on cutting-edge desalination technology to secure its future. In a land dominated by vast deserts, the kingdom is turning seawater into a vital resource, proving that innovation and determination can reshape survival in the age of climate change. This is the story of Saudi Arabia desalination and bold water crisis solutions that may inspire the world. Let's dive into Saudi Arabia's bold water solution, a model that's reshaping its future and offering vital lessons for a water-scarce world. As climate change intensifies droughts and dries up water sources, the crisis seen in Cape Town's near day zero is now a global warning. With most of its land arid or semi-arid, Saudi Arabia stands at the front lines using cutting-edge technology to turn scarcity into sustainability. Saudi Arabia's water crisis began with rapid development and reliance on ancient fossil aquifers, non-renewable groundwater formed in wetter prehistoric times. These reserves fueled a green revolution, turning deserts into farmland. But decades of overuse have nearly depleted them. Climate change has made things worse, accelerating evaporation and disrupting rainfall. With natural water sources dwindling, the nation faces an increasingly fragile future. The crisis highlights the urgent need for sustainable water solutions. Today, with underground water supplies waning and surface water almost non-existent, Saudi Arabia is turning to the sea, specifically the salty waters of the Red Sea and the Arabian Gulf. Here, the nation has become a global leader in the development and deployment of high-capacity desalination plants, using cutting-edge technology to provide a steady flow of clean, drinkable water. Desalination is the process of removing salt from seawater to produce fresh, drinkable water, a concept dating back to ancient times, even described by Aristotle through evaporation and condensation. Today, it's a large-scale industrial operation using two primary methods, thermal distillation which uses heat to turn seawater into vapor and then condenses it into fresh water, and reverse osmosis, where seawater is pushed through special membranes that separate salt from water. Saudi Arabia's water sector has undergone a massive transformation, with desalination at its heart. The country is now home to more than 30 major desalination plants providing up to 70% of the nation's drinking water. The largest of these facilities, such as the Ras Al Khair and Shoaiba plants, are recognized as the titans of global desalination, capable of producing millions of cubic meters of water each day. Ras Al Khair, for example, draws seawater from the Arabian Gulf and, using a combination of thermal and reverse osmosis processes, delivers enough water to supply the capital city Riyadh, located far inland, and the industrial city of Jubail. Shoaiba, situated on the Red Sea, 
harnesses reverse osmosis technology to deliver over 1.5 million cubic meters of water per day, supplying the bustling city of Jeddah and the holy city of Mecca. These plants are more like self-contained cities themselves, powered by large energy networks and employing thousands. The Saudi government, recognizing the urgency of the water crisis, has invested heavily in innovation. Newer plants increasingly rely on reverse osmosis, a method noted for its relatively lower energy consumption and flexibility. Massive research centers in places like Jubal are now pushing the boundaries of efficiency, developing longer-lasting filters, harnessing artificial intelligence for water management, and even integrating solar and wind energy to power the most energy-hungry stages of desalination. Desalination is energy-intensive and often powered by fossil fuels, worsening climate change and water scarcity. Aware of this, Saudi Arabia is adopting sustainable solutions. Under Vision 2030, it's pushing for renewable energy, with new desalination plants now connected to solar and wind power to reduce emissions and aim for carbon neutrality. Another challenge is dealing with the brine, ultra-salty wastewater left behind after desalination. Traditionally, this brine has been discharged back into the sea where, if handled poorly, it can damage sensitive marine ecosystems by raising local salt concentrations and reducing oxygen levels. But Saudi scientists and engineers are innovating here as well, developing advanced methods to treat, dilute, and sometimes even repurpose the brine to extract valuable minerals, create industrial salts, or support aquaculture projects. Saudi Arabia's strategy also goes beyond technology, incorporating holistic water management approaches. The government is making water conservation a priority, improving leak detection and distribution systems modernizing irrigation and agriculture, which remains the single largest consumer of water, and campaigning to change public habits. Despite its success, desalination alone isn't a silver bullet for Saudi Arabia's water crisis. True impact comes from a holistic approach, combining advanced desalination technologies with strong conservation efforts, sustainable infrastructure, and public awareness. Saudi Arabia is leading this charge by integrating renewable energy, enforcing regulatory reforms, and promoting responsible water use. It's not just about producing more water, but using it wisely. Saudi Arabia now leads the world in desalinated water production, accounting for nearly 20% of global output. Its advanced technology and policies are influencing water strategies from the Middle East to Australia and even the drought-hit U.S. However, challenges remain. High costs for poorer nations, environmental concerns if powered by fossil fuels, and the ongoing need for adaptive, resilient water policies as climate pressures grow. The future of Saudi Arabia's water sector lies in next-gen desalination. Scientists are testing graphene membranes that purify water faster with less energy. Engineers are rolling out solar-powered, decentralized units to deliver clean water to remote areas. Meanwhile, Policymakers are investing in global research to cut costs and reduce environmental impact. Is desalination the ultimate water solution for Saudi Arabia? Not entirely, but it's the cornerstone of the kingdom's strategy for water security. With greener, more efficient, and cost-effective technologies, Saudi Arabia desalination efforts are turning scarcity into sustainability. As climate change intensifies global water challenges, 
The Saudi model proves that even the driest nations can thrive through bold vision, innovation, and a deep commitment to sustainability. These water crisis solutions could reshape water management worldwide. Desalination is a major step forward, but only one piece of the larger push toward a sustainable future. Let's keep exploring real solutions to our planet's toughest environmental challenges. For more on environmental science, water issues, and breakthrough technologies, check out our other videos. Thanks for watching. If you found this inspiring, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Here's to a smarter, healthier world. See you in the next video.